it's your girl brain shenanigans and today i'm here to share with you a book review i've been wanting to do this book review for like a couple like a month or two now um and i feel like it's about time that i do that because i don't see a lot of reviews about this particular book and i felt like this book is absolutely amazing and everyone should give it a chance and everyone should read it um this is their second book that they have written um the first book they had written was uh, we deserve monuments and the second book that they have written is thirsty and this is by jazz hammonds their writing is so spectacular and it talks about a lot of different topics especially in the black community and in this particular book, we're featuring uh, the main character, Blake, who is biracial. Um, her mother is white and her father is black. And so she is trying to get to, into this society called the Selena, uh, Selena Society or Serena Society. Um, and her fr and her friends are also trying to be part of the society as well. So it's a, a group, a society in a college that they all want to attend. And her friend Ella, who pretty much is her girlfriend, um, she is already putting much a shoe in for the society because of uh, due to the backing of her family having uh, money and funds and stuff like that or whatever. So Ella is a shoe in for her. For Blake, she has to really work hard to try to get into this uh, certain uh, this particular society and the, at this particular college um so Blake goes through like a lot like a lot a lot she's trying her best to fit in and in order to do that she feels like okay in order for me to be part of this society I need to I need to do a, a through z and so she goes to these parties and she gets extremely drunk and it seems like a lot of people just eggs her on to it and just realize like hey maybe this is what will get me into the society if I just keep drinking constantly drinking or whatever and she didn't see anything wrong with it because it it seemed like it was normalized drinking and being drunk was normal um especially when she was at going to these parties to be noticed and to fit in and her and Ella who is her girlfriend would always enable her and always would encourage Blake so yeah go ahead and do it they would love this and and as as Blake would constantly drink she would have blackouts and she would have these negative feelings about herself and 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 it, she just goes into a, a deep deep hole where she thinks about a lot of things and I feel like that it stems down from um from her family because when she um finally uh, shared with her family that she is a lesbian and that her and Ella are dating they didn't seem very supportive of her at all but when she went to Ella's family and they said that they were together they were very supportive and very excited and happy for the for the both of them so she did she isn't getting a lot of support from her family and also on top of that she Blake deals with a lot regarding um regarding with race and her mother seems to not be able to support her regarding that or just be there for her when it comes to those things um and for that particular topic um and Blake just feels alone and so she wants to fit in she wants to be part of the society because it's some type of family and that that they will accept her but in doing so she is losing herself in putting her putting herself in danger and so with this particular book it, it really it made me realize a lot of things especially in group settings or if you want to be part of some type of organization society or whatever there's always those pressures there's always some type of of you know pressure of trying to do this or trying to be better than this person or trying to fit in and that's what Blake was trying to do but at the same time she was losing herself and she was putting herself in danger and with Ella you know her, her girlfriend she didn't see that and it's in my head I'm like Blake Ella's not she said that she loves you but she if love isn't like this like she continually tells you like go ahead and drink it's fine it's fine they'll love this but then you have your other friend on the other on the other hand who is very concerned about you and concerned about your safety especially how you're thinking when you drink and and how you just starting to hate yourself so I feel like this with this particular book it talks about a lot of a lot of topics a lot of subjects that a lot you know sometimes they're you know conversations that that need to be had and so with this particular book, it's just it, it makes me, 
it makes me realize a lot of things about life in general regardless and about being a teenager I remember being a teenager I remember being pressured into doing things that I really didn't want to do and it's still a thing to this day and it's 2024 you know what I mean it's still a thing and so with this I'm like Blake had to go through a lot to realize like what she was doing drinking constantly was not going to help her and it was hurting her and that being part of that society was not for her because if they truly cared about her they wouldn't be letting her drink so much to the point where she almost you know ends up you know hurting herself right um so with this book I gave it a five out of five stars because it's it's really it's an amazing book. Now there's going to be times where you want to put the book down because it can be very hard to read, especially reading page after page of what Blake is doing to herself. Um, and then people around her enabling her and not really caring about Blake's well being. Um, but I absolutely enjoyed this book. Um, I'll even read the synopsis for you. So it says, it's the summer before college and 18 year old Blake and her girlfriend Ella have one goal. Join the mysterious and elusive, exclusive Serena Society. The, the sorority promises status and lifelong connections to a network of powerful, trailblazing women of color. Ella's acceptance is a sure thing. She's the daughter of Serena alum. Blake, however, has a lot more to prove. As a former loner from a working class background, Blake lacks Ella's pedigree and confidence. Luckily, she finds courage at the bottom of a liquor bottle. When she drinks, she's bold, funny, and unstoppable, and the Serenas love it. But as pledging intensifies, so does Blake's drinking. Ella assures Blake that she's fine. Partying hard, partying hard, partying hard is what it takes to make the cut. But success has never felt so much like drowning. With her future in the balance and her past dragging her down, Blake must decide how far she'll go to achieve her glaring dreams and how much of herself she's willing to lose in the process. So just with that alone, it took Blake a while. And sometimes it took her best, you know, her friend to say, hey, you need to stop doing what you're doing. You need to stop drinking. And yes, you may want acceptance, if you know, from these group of girls, but no, they, they are not worthy to have you. They are not worthy. And, and, and you know what, you don't need them you do not need them to fit in and i think that's the case also is like she wants to fit in and she wants to be a part of something bigger than herself but at the same time as she is partaking in these parties she's losing herself she's giving everything she has and they are just taking and taking and taking from her um and so that's that's another thing so this book has a lot of life lessons like when i do book reviews i i do a lot of books that provide a lot of life lessons a lot of realistic situations that happen on a day-to-day -day basis and with blake this is a thing this is a thing when you want to become part of a sorority or a society or whatever type of group that you want to be in and you're trying to fit in it's like you're willing to sacrifice anything and everything just so you could fit in and be a part of something you know and this it really it brought me to tears like not a lot of books bring me to tears but it brought me to tears to realize like at one point in time when I wasn't when my family wasn't really supportive of me at the time I was looking elsewhere for support and those people that said they were for that they would be there for me or were for me weren't really for me they were actually hurting me even more and I had you know it took time for me to realize that when I was a teenager and I, I feel like we all go through those moments in life where we realize like why like wow I really why was I doing that why was I trying to be like trying so hard to be part of something that they never really wanted me in the first place why am I being someone that's not me why am I stepping out of character right um so with this it was just such an amazing read but it can be hard at times to read it um so definitely be mindful when you do read it um because it can be hard I'm not gonna lie it brought me to tears and just for seeing Blake go through that it was it was difficult and even on the um for this book even gives you content warnings it says thirsty includes depictions of alcohol addiction self-hatred suicidal ideation racial microaggressions transphobic rhetoric and non-consensual outing 
and then it says for a full list of content warnings please visit jazzhammonds.com and it says please read this story with care and perhaps and perhaps a cup of tea it's that deep of a story so I definitely want you to be prepared for it when you do read this particular book but otherwise this was a fantastic read I'm glad it, that with Blake she was able to understand like the society that she wanted to be part of they they weren't they weren't worthy to have her they they really weren't um and even let me read the author's note here it says I'm an air sign, which means according to my astrology loving friends, I enjoy doing things on a whim. Maybe I'll cut my hair off. Maybe I'll run a marathon. Sometimes I follow through the haircut and sometimes I let these ideas gather dust, the marathon. When I made the decision to stop drinking for 30 days in the fall of 30 days of the fall of 2019, I expected the latter. In fact, I didn't even tell most people I was doing it just in case I changed my mind. After all, I didn't have a problem, right? As the month unfolded, so did Thirsty, this novel about a girl who thinks she needs alcohol in order to survive social settings. I couldn't write fast enough, couldn't stop pulling back layers. Blake uses alcohol to quiet her anxiety. Blake drinks because the people she's desperate to impress seem to like her better when she's drunk. At one point, it became clear that Blake's story was my story and we were figuring things out together. When I was first exploring sobriety, I picked up a lot of uh, rock bottom narratives and didn't see myself in them to anyone on the on the outside my drinking probably mirrored a lot of people in their mid-20s sometimes excessive a lot of drunken mistakes embarrassed mornings but not necessarily something to scream hit the brakes and cut alcohol out of my life altogether but people didn't see the shame that sat in heavy that sat in heavy in my stomach all the time. They didn't feel the internal urge I felt to push everyone away, didn't hear the voice inside my head that told me I was worth, worthless and unlovable. This wasn't solely alcohol's doing. A lot of it stemmed from my struggles with depression and anxiety. But nevertheless, those feelings refused to be ignored and I ended up cutting, uh, cutting drinking out of my life altogether. At the time of writing this, I've, I've been sober from alcohol for 1,635 days. Some of those days have been harder than others. Drinking alcohol isn't inherently wrong, immoral, or immature, and not everyone needs to cut it out of their lives. But if you're ever questioned, but if you've ever questioned your drinking habits, I want you to know you're not alone. It can be scary realizing something or someone that once brought you comfort is no longer serving you. I didn't write this book to provide any answers. I wrote it to ask questions such as, is alcohol adding or subtracting value to my life? Why do I drink? Do I even like drinking? Are there people in my life who push alcohol on me even when I say no? Have I been that person? If you're curious about cutting alcohol out of your life, there are so many resources from multi-step programs to therapy to online support groups. Whatever path you take, just know there's no one size fits all perfect solution. I tried several options before I found my version of the tea. I hope you find yours. You deserve that. Love, Jess. January 2024. So just with that author's note, and when I, once I finally, when I finished this book and then I read that author's note, it just, it opened my eyes to so many things, like to how it doesn't matter how old you are, you know, it doesn't matter. Like Blake was a teenager, but this can, this can, this can happen to anybody or it is happening to people and they just don't realize it yet. You know, um, trying to fit in, for, to fit into something. I think we go through that throughout our whole lives. It's not a temporary thing. Um, some of us, you know, they may seem like they don't want to fit in. They don't care. And that's completely fine too. I feel like once or twice in our lives, we probably did want to fit in at one point, you know, um, but this was just a powerful book. I really recommend that people read this. I don't, like I said, I don't see a lot of reviews about this book. I don't see um, people, this. I don't see people talking about it or I don't see this book circulating like it should because this is a powerful story and I feel like everyone should read it. Um, but I don't, I don't want to say anything else. I really just want y'all to pick this book up and see for yourself how great this book is, but also be aware of the content warnings. And there may be times where you need to book, put the book down to take a break.
Um, but that is it. Once again, I gave this a book, this book five or five stars. So definitely check it out if you haven't. And also check out We Deserve Monuments because that book is also phenomenal. And I did a book review for that one too, which I'll leave up above. So after you finish watching this video, check out my other, uh, my other review. Uh, cause Jazz Hammond's, their writing is phenomenal and spectacular and I do not want you to miss out on it. But that is it. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this book review. If you did, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future. But once again, thank you so much for watching everyone. And I hope you are staying healthy and staying safe. And I will catch y'all next time. Bye, everyone.